What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're about to check out who is the king of the stunner. Now, let's be honest here, y'all. I'm sure Stone Cold is in this clip. Stone Cold is gonna be my number one. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. I'm I'm sorry. I know there's other people that have hit the stunner, but when I think of the stunner, I think of the Stone Cold Stunner. I think of grass. I said grass. Glass breaking. All hell being raised. Jr. Chanting Stone Cold's name over and over and over. Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's what I think of when I think of a stunner. So I'm sure I know Kevin Owens does the stunner. I believe there's some other wrestlers that do a variation of it. But when it comes to stunning people, it's no one better than a jort wearing, beer swelling, Stone Cold assassin. That is Stone Cold. So let's get into it, man. Appreciate all love and support. Road to 20K, man. We're almost there. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into it. I know, uh, I believe he had uh, got the approval from uh, Stone Cold to actually use the stunner, which is pretty cool. I didn't know Dorado uh, used the stunner. This is Roger, this is new for me. Let's say Dorado. Oh, okay, that's nice. I like that one. To the chest. I like that one. That was that was he uh into a stunner. The handspring stunner. I like that. That's pretty that's not bad. That's 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 actually that's pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mike Canales looking out at Maria Canales. And now, oh wait a minute. Earlier in the match. Whoa! This time it connects. Not bad, not bad. I, it's it's not as practical, only because it's like you're watching your opponent do a goddamn a handspring flip off the ropes. So it's not as practical as Stone Cold's, in my opinion. Oh, he's so <laughs> he sold the shit out of that Disco Inferno. I, this is before my time, clearly. Yeah, definitely before my time. Oh, the from the one, two, what they call it? What they call it? Yeah, this is definitely. <laughs> oh, he sold that. He sold that. That's it for Lash. Park ahead. There was no way to go. He went back. I'm telling you, man, it's just. Man, I'm, a, I'm still happy. I'm just waiting for the Stone Cold clips. I'm sure it's gonna be at the end. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's waiting for the Stone Cold clip. It looks stiff as hell, though. This is this is all new to me, man. Oh, okay. Turns around, catches the right foot. Runs blindly into the Inziguri. Oh, damn. That was, that was nice how he kind of uh, transitioned into it. Bro, he sold that shit. Oh, a nice stunner. Lee Carroll, nice counter. So he goes, it seems like he likes to go through the, like the, the second rope to hit it. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, does... Has I think John has done it. John has done it. Yeah. Yeah, he he started incorporating some new moves, his spring rope stunner. I think that was one of the very first times he's ever done that. Because John Cena moves they they you know they they got in stale. You knew what you were gonna get with the five moves of doom, and you know, of course, John, being John, kind of played into that. And I think that was one of the first times he actually did that at WrestleMania 31. Let me go back to that. I think this is one of the very first times he's actually ever did that. What the? 
Yeah, he, it's like he kind of switched up his moves. He kind of switched up his moves, his move set, just a little bit. I mean, it's okay. It's it's his version of it. it's okay. It's just it's weird seeing his big ass up on the second rope doing that shit. So. You can hear the booze. You can, you can hear the booze. But he didn't really get all of it. He didn't get all of it. Kevin Thorne. Face look familiar. I'm not sure. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch this. A little. What the hell? Watch out. Okay, now that's pretty cool. It is it is the setup of the move takes so long. I mean, it looks deadly when hit. Like the setup takes so long to do. Look at this. But the shit looks deadly as hell. Not gonna lie to you. Oh my god. Yeah. It it, it looks. Yeah. That this variation of it looks nasty. It it, it looks pretty brutal. Oh, not but Nunzio. I think that's Nunzio. <laughs> Jeff Hardy? He has a... Man, this lot of this is new for me. I mean, I guess... I guess... I mean, to be honest with you, it's, it's, yeah, if you really want to break it down, he goes for the gut punch and then he just kind of, he has the little motion to it. Jeff Hardy won the war of words. Oh, wait a minute. Matt struck a coin with Samoa Joe. Twist of fate. Jump off the yeah. top through the table. Ziggler went for the super kick. Hardy able to counter. Kick to the midsection. Twist of fate to Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, you can say that. Mikey Whip Whipwreck? Whipwreck? Is that right? Shout out to my guy for getting all this footage. This is old ECW. Um, this is new to me, so comment down below. Comment down below. This is if you if you're familiar with this wrestler. Yeah, this is definitely VHS old school ECW right here. <laughs> he sold it though. Wow. Whipper snapper, that's what he calls it. <laughs> it's a nice. <laughs> Joey Styles is killing me. Whipper snapper. <laughs> Joey Styles is killing me right now. Bro. <laughs> he says it the same way every time. Whipper snapper. Our truth, he got the uh, variation of a stuff. You know what? Uh, you know, as much as he kind of does, I think that the Miz has a huge advantage. His is actually pretty cool. His is actually pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I never really paid attention like this. His is actually pretty cool. It's like he flips them over his shoulder. And their momentum follows with it. Like, nah, that is. Mysterio with a low bridge on Titus. Nah, I actually like his. His is very unique. I never. I mean, our truth is actually pretty, pretty dope. It's just WWE has only really used him as more of a comedy gag. But that I like that variation. I believe I've seen Leo Rush's. His is like off the off. It's like a spring. Springboard off the rope. Yep. Yeah, I like his. I like his. Could be looking to close this one out. There it is. Oh yeah. First off, boom. The second birthday. I like his. I like his spring rope stunning. There it is. There's a come up. The come up by Leo Rush. Again somehow. It's dope. Incredible escape ability. Leo Rush is a good wrestler. Oh, he, bro, he sells like nobody else. Bro, that's pretty dope. I like his, I like his stunner. 
I like Leo Rush's and I like Archus so far. The minute he's got his sights set on gold, but first we have to. Oh, and it, it, it works when the rest of the sales. Mark Andrews, don't know who this is. I, I don't know. I don't really watch too much of 205 Live. Oh. Oh, that's. Please tell me that's not the name, the name of his finisher. Stun Dog Millionaire. It's actually nice and fluid. Like he goes into. It's actually pretty though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like his too. It's his. It's fluid though. The name is kind of, kind of crazy, but it's, it's, it's dope. Because it's it's a move that, it's easy to, to like convert and counter into something else. Look at this. Oh, that was nasty. That was that is is so good at countering. That yeah, that shit looks pretty dope. Not gonna lie to you. I like Kevin Owens because I like Kevin Owens as a wrestler. So it when he started using it, it was weird to me. But once I found out, he he definitely got the approval from uh from Stone Cold. I was like, okay, I'm okay with that. Because I feel like if you're gonna hit a stunner. And you know it's the one of the most iconic finishers and is synonymous with Stone Cold. You gotta have some Stone Cold isms. You gotta have this, you know, I don't give a damn attitude. And Kevin Owens has always been like that. He's always been for himself and he's fantastic on the mic, just like Stone Cold was. I just wish they would have kept pushing Kevin Owens like they should have. He's definitely a main event guy. So comment down below if y'all were cool with Kevin Owens using a stunner. At first, it was weird, but I don't have a problem with it. I think it's, it, it it works with, with him, with his character. Cover him! Cover him! Put it to it! And that's, oh, oh, look out from behind! Oh, now KO with a stutter to Brian. Brian. Sold that shit. Rollins. Here we go! Got caught! Stutter! Oh, stutter by Owens! Put oh. Kevin Owens! Give me that. Stun Owens, stun. Uh, uh, sis. Stun Owen Stun. I think that's what his shirt says. Stun Owen Stun. Woo! I remember. <laughs> Wait, Adam Cole sold that shit. We gotta look back at this. He sold that shit. Look at this. <laughs> Why he pop up? Shout out to Kevin Owens coming out to War Games and getting one of the loudest pops that year. That pop from the crowd still gives me goosebumps. That shit was so intense watching that shit. It's awesome. This is what Monday Night Raw is all about. Got him again. Two stunners. He's not close to the ropes this time. Stone Cold, man. It's Stone Cold, bro. Come on. Listen to how the crowd pops when he hits it. Look at that. Look at that. Give me that. <laughs> Fucking love it. <laughs> Give me that. Stunner so well. He started flopping on the ropes. <laughs> Look at him. Nike. We gotta go back. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, look at that. <laughs> Give him another one. <laughs> bro, he sold the hell out of that second one, bro.
wait, 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 wait. What was the noise Vince made? Hold on. <laughs> Classic match. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, the rock sold this one too. <laughs> Oh man, bro. This is Stone Cold, bro. Stone Cold. Just like in the last video, Eddie Guerrero obviously has the best frog splash in that video, in that compilation. Stone Cold. Come on. Stone Cold Stunner is the best variation of the stunner. Only because. The wrestler behind it i think leo rushes i like his i like our truce variation of it um i forgot the other wrestler <laughs> that's in 205 that i said that i like um not to say that the other variations aren't dope it's just the wrestler made the move even better you know what i'm saying the announcer sold it all the wrestlers sold it the crowd loved it every time it was hit it didn't matter and that's that's one of the cases where the wrestler really sold the move and made it even 10 times more devastating than it actually is but uh it's stone cold bro if stone cold ain't your number one as the best stunner i don't know what to tell you man i don't know what to tell you but comment down below what's y'all ranking i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna say stone cold is number one but what's y'all ranking of stunners from this video comment down below i would like to get you guys opinion appreciate all the love and support road to 20k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all on the next one peace